28-year-old uh, 28 Gonzaga Sentongo is a resident of Katabi Town Council, that's in Wakiso District. The last few weeks, Senseto has been cycling nearly 22 kilometers to Malme Hospital, that's in Luenza, to pick antiretroviral drugs for people living with HIV in his community. Sentogo says he makes the frequent bicycle trips because the lockdown in Uganda has made it impossible for the people who need the life-saving drugs to travel to the hospital to refill their medication. Ivan Waluonyo now reports. This is Gonzaga Sentongo. He is on his way to Mild May Hospital to collect antiretroviral medication for members of his community living with HIV. He says it's important for people who need these drugs not to miss on a single prescription because this could have a dire consequence for their health. In about an hour, Sentongo had covered his journey of over 18 kilometers and delivered the medicine to a 10-year-old girl in Nkumba. It is often hard for Sentongo to make the long bicycle rides, but he feels it is something that needs to be done. You see that transportation has been banned, no taxi, uh, no these kind of private vehicles. So it's really almost next to impossible and calls a lot of need and also passion in order to work out this kind of situation together. Sentongo says during such difficult times, most vulnerable people, especially the sick, cannot access health care. This is a cause for anxiety and concern for them. It's us, you and I, we are the one to intervene in this kind of situation. Sentong runs a small NGO, Newtown Africa Foundation, and it's through his work that he gets to meet different people living with HIV. So we have their records, we know where they stay, so we can identify them by calling them, like a way of taking care of them. We call them, we find out how are they living right now. In one week, Sentongo has made over 10 deliveries from different hospitals including Entebbe and Mild May. Sentongo says the youth should come to the aid of the less privileged during these difficult times. You can visit some homes, there are people who, are, who can't fetch water. The 10-year-old girl whom Sentongo delivered the ARVs stays with her grandmother and her sister who says the lack of transport had already caused her sibling to go a day without a medication. Another 20-year-old resident of Kaseng is also thankful for Sentongo's help. I really feel, feel so good. I feel overwhelmed with this man because <laughs> I don't know even how I can thank him. He really did a lot for me. Health experts have always advised the HIV positive people to feed well, but this is not always possible. Someone can ask you, you've given me this medicine, but will I swallow this medicine on an empty stomach? The two say other HIV positive people may be going through similar challenges across the country. There has been called to the Ministry of Health to collaborate with the social workers to extend health services to the people in this lockdown. Kaman Ivan Walnyolo, NTV.